Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing today? Back with yet another vlog for you guys. And today is June 18th, 2020. It's Thursday. It's my last work day of the week because I'm going to be traveling to San Francisco tomorrow just to go home for Father's Day weekend and the following week. But I'll still be um, uploading content for you guys while I'm away because I'll be bringing my camera and one of my microphones so I can still film things while I'm in my parents' place. But today I'm going to be um, spending some time uh, setting up some uh, coding processes in Python because essentially since I'm going to be away f um, from here, might as well just have something that's running for a long time while I'm away and, and you know I I'm sort of being productive even though I'm not even actually doing anything. But like I said in the last part, I have to make sure I set it up correctly because if I set up the code incorrectly, then you know I have to look at it, see that you know I did something wrong, and who knows how long that may have taken, and if it's already more than a day or two. Um, that I've passed since I started the, the routine. I have to stop it and start it all over again, so that's not fun. Um, so yeah, that's essentially what the agenda is for today. The physics t-shirt for the day, because yesterday you saw my NoFlex Given shirt, today it is Never Trust an Atom. They make up everything. Which is um, one of my favorite t-shirts I have. Actually, it's just really funny to me. I don't know, because I'm a science guy, but um, I, I got this t-shirt in San Francisco at the California Academy of Sciences in, in the gift shop and um, I don't know, as soon as I saw it I was like I need to have it like that's the kind of t-shirt I wear back at the time because in college I was wearing a lot of physics t-shirts like these and I still uh, occasionally get some now and then so I thought it might be a fun little thing for you guys just to see my my physics t-shirt wardrobe if you will and see all the punny uh, physics and math t-shirts that I own so that's a little fun uh, fun factoid for the day. So, with that being said, why don't we just get started, get your head right into the coding, and I'll see you guys after the montage is done. Have a good one. Okay, so I got the processes started and they're running right now and I'm pretty sure that they are correct and that they're going to be running for a hundred times over and it will produce what I want at the very end. Now, what I just did is actually a very good example of what I was talking about before, where you have to be very, very sure about, you know, making sure that this is correct because essentially I had gotten to a point where I felt that everything was correct and I could have just hit the start button and just not checked it beforehand and, and just be, be as if I was completely confident that it was going to run. But I tested it. I took the time. It was a little bit tedious. I had to change lines of code line by line. Very tedious. Not something fun. And part of me didn't want to do it, but I was deep down thinking to myself, it would suck if I didn't do this. Turns out there's an error at the end of this week-long process. And... There's nothing. There's no data. I don't get the, the results that I'm looking for, essentially. So I said, nope, we're going to do the tedious stuff now. It's only going to take about a couple of minutes right now. That could save me, you know, a week of misery, right? Because if I had not checked it and I just let it run for a week and I didn't get any results out of it, that would that's just a waste of a week right there. And that's not what I want. So I took the time 
checked it. Sure enough, there was an error. There was something wrong that, it that if I did not fix it, it would not have given me any data at the end of all this process. So, whew, dodged the major bullet there. But this sort of goes with what I was talking about earlier, that you really need to be diligent. You have to go with safety over sorry, right? Safe, better safe than sorry, right? Don't, don't just think you know everything and double check things or triple check things even, quadruple check things, right? Only when you've sort of checked everything and you see that everything is going according as to what you expect, uh, can you confidently let it run? Because my goodness, when I first started this process, that was my biggest fear, that I would let it start and then I would run into these issues. And I have wasted days um, to do this process because I wasn't diligent enough at certain parts of checking. So please, 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 if you have to do something very tedious that will only take you a couple of minutes and could save you days to weeks of, of misery, do it. Just do it. Go th get through the tediousness now because if you don't, you know, a week later, it's going to be awful. You're going you're gonna to kick yourself because you didn't, you didn't do your due diligence, right, of checking it before you started this whole week long thing. So that's a bit of a lesson I, I, I'm going to preach today because, man, this, was a, this would have been a prime example if I had not checked it and a week later I would have told you guys, yeah, I messed up, don't do what I did. But no, just don't even make the initial mistake. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the goal here. All right, so it's break time. You already know what that means. It's time to be fit, physically active, do something in between coding so we're not just sitting at the chair all day. Uh, it's time to do some push-ups. I've been feeling really good lately with the push-ups, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing more push-ups, and you know do do you know tens of push-ups each day. I'm sure that adds up eventually, right? So let's get to it. Here it goes. Nothing. Uh, okay, my arm is a little bit still sore from yesterday's, but 10 more push-ups again. Stay fit, guys. Exercise. Do something. doesn't have to be push-ups. Do something to get off of the chair. Just move around. Stretch. You know. <sighs> I can't talk. Cause I'm... <sighs> yeah, still need to work on it. You can still tell. Not quite in peak fitness shape yet. Okay guys, I'm back with lunch, and what is lunch for today? Well, it's something you've probably already seen if you've seen my past vlogs. It is hot dogs with some carrots. I know, again, maybe not the healthiest, but you know, we're, at least we're eating carrots now, right? We, we got something on the side to sort of offset the badness of, the, of, those, of those hot dogs, right? So, you know, it, it's progress, right? Still some progress. This is, this is a step up of what I would normally be eating. So, again, small little steps towards an eventual goal. So I'm gonna eat now, because I am hungry. It is 2.30 in the afternoon, have not eaten lunch yet. It's time to devour these hot dogs and these carrots. So I'll be back. So as you can see, I've packed my bags for my trip tomorrow. It's like six o'clock at night now and I'm just trying to get ready before it's too late. I wanna sleep early, because I'm gonna be hitting the road as early as possible tomorrow. Like I wanna get out of here by 9 a.m. the latest. If I can get out by like seven, that'd be great. Eight is going to be good, but I don't want to be on the road for too long because it's usually like a seven hour drive to go between Irvine here to San Francisco where I'm from. So it's like 400-ish plus miles to drive. And so I'm not a fast driver. I drive like maybe 70 miles per hour tops. I'm also trying to figure out what books I want to bring for my trip because I kind of want to spend some time while I'm away to review some of my basic fundamental astronomy principles because as some of you may know I, tra I transferred into um, astronomy or astrophysics a little bit later in my academic career. It wasn't anything I focused on in undergrad and only in graduate school did I switch. So there are still some, I feel, holes in my knowledge, if I'm being honest, and I'd really like to cover some of that up. And I think a lot of it comes down to sort of telescope design and instruments on telescopes. And I, I sort of know sort of generally 
uh, you know, the broad classes of instruments that you have on telescopes and how they collect the data. But I think I want to really know them a bit better, especially if I'm going to be doing observational run vlogs where I'm going to be observing, like at like observatory, for example, and I'm going to be, you know, uh, observing active galactic nuclei, and I want to explain how the spectrograph is recording the data and how does that tie into what we're seeing on the screen. So. I think that would be a good idea if I did that. So I think I will bring one of these books back. And the, probably the best book for this is if you look over here, it might be hard to see, but there's a book right here. It's called Observational Astronomy. That is the UC Irvine um, Upper Division uh, Astronomy Lab Course textbook. So I'm thinking about using that textbook, bring that back. Obviously, I have all these other nice books here, but these are more like th theoretical books. And this is sort of the... Um, observational book that I have. So I think I might bring that along for my trip and review some chapters out of that. And maybe, we'll see, maybe I might teach some of to you guys to help reinforce my own knowledge, but don't, but don't count on it because I have a lot of stuff on my plate and it might be, it'll be, it might be time consuming enough for myself to, to teach myself the stuff in that book. Okay guys, so it's like 6.30 p.m. now and I think I'm gonna stop vlogging for the day because I have uh, still more things to pack and I wanna put it into my car tonight so I don't have to drag it in the morning when I'm sort of groggy and tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop vlogging, but again, thank you again for joining me on my journey. Thank you for helping me be productive this entire week from Monday through Thursday. It's been a pleasure to have you guys with me and film. I hope it's been entertaining and insightful as to what I do on a weekly basis. And I hope if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I'll try my best to uh, address anything you, you may want to know. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Maybe not because I'll be driving seven hours. So it might be hard to film in the process, but we'll see. And uh, thank you guys for your continued support and I will Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.